Former Fayette County Commonwealth's attorney Ray Larson has died. The late prosecutor worked on several high profile cases over his decades long career. Larson was known for being outspoken and tough on crime. He was interviewed many times over the years and Shelby Lofton spoke to his successor today about the legacy Larson leaves behind. Longtime prosecutor Ray Larson will be remembered for his no nonsense approach to crime. What we have to do is start kicking ass and taking names. Luana Redcorn was hired by Larson, Fayette County's top prosecutor, back in 1987. She filled his shoes when he retired from the Fayette County Commonwealth's attorney role in 2016. If you knew him at all, you know that he was a, a real competitive fella. He really was, and he really pushed us to be um, competitive too. Redcorn says Larson was a father figure to his employees. He was at all of our weddings, uh, many of our parents' funerals. And a tough competitor in the courtroom. I mean, no one could give a closing argument like Ray. Trials are awful for families because they have to relive it. She recalls one of his highest profile cases. The murder of Michael Turpin. Um, is a case that really stands out for, for all of us. And causes that he devoted himself to. And Ray really led not just the Commonwealth, but the nation in prosecuting vehicular homicides as a crime. She says Larson, known as Ray the DA, was also a leader outside of his work. He was one of the founders of the Children's Advocacy Center of the Bluegrass. Redcorn says she and others are shocked by Larson's passing but they'll remember his mentorship and dedication to the public. Ray Larson can really say he left his mark on this world. And you know, in the end, isn't that what all of us want to be able to say? In Lexington, Shelby Lofton, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Kentucky leaders are also sharing their reactions to Larson's death. Governor Andy Bashir wrote he and First Lady Brittany Bashir are saddened to learn of his passing. And Lexington Mayor Linda Gordon shared her condolences, writing, quote, having served as Fayette County Commonwealth's attorney for nearly 32 years, Ray was a tireless advocate for victims' rights.